Hi, thanks for joining us. Tonight, the beachside town where women fear to leave their homes. Also, the Gold Coast Motel where guests were abused and evicted within minutes of arriving. Plus, the incredible shrinking man, a diet champion. Graham Bell rarely stays in motels, and after his latest experience, he probably never will again. Graham and his wife were visiting the Gold Coast to see their son, but minutes after booking into a local motel, they found themselves being abused, insulted, and finally thrown out. Chris Allen reports. Motel? It seemed like a motel of madness, a motel from hell. Was that bad? Uh, I wouldn't like anyone else to go through it. Graham Bell says within minutes of checking into this motel with his wife Dawn and son Brad, the manager threw them out. I was horrified because he just barged through the door with this dog and just told us to get out. Well, Mr Blake, upstairs, please. well, can we see you now? At first, motel manager Colin Blake refused to see us, leaving his wife Caroline to do the talking. Why is your husband hiding here? Is this the, the no, way he normally hiding. treats your he's patrons? He's not hiding. No, not at all. I'm sorry. Well, what can we think if he's not prepared to talk to us about this? Well, he just he will, but he doesn't want the cameras upstairs. Really well, look, I think we really, really will have to wait here until your husband can come down well, and talk to us. Well, I'll go and have a quick word with him and see if he would. Uh, we won't be leaving until he comes down to talk. Hello there, I'm Graham Bell and welcome to the... Graham Bell is known to many Australians as host of a national country and western radio show. He'd come to the Gold Coast to visit his son Brad, checked into the nearest motel and left Dawn while he and Brad went to a nearby shop. As soon as they left, Dawn said the manager came to the door. He didn't introduce himself. He just came to the door and wanted to know where Graham was and how long he would be and insisting we hadn't paid. I said, we haven't filled out a breakfast menu. We've only just arrived in your motel. When he returned, Graham went to reception and spoke to the manager's wife. So I said, why, why is the urgency? What's, what's the problem? And she said, oh, if you don't pay, we couldn't sleep overnight. Which to me was a bit of a personal insult. Uh, I said, I don't think we're very welcome here. I'll go back up and see if the others want to stay. Before I got back to the room, which was on the second floor, I could hear uh, footsteps running across the courtyard and I looked down and I saw the man with the dog. I didn't take that much notice of it and I went into the room and I was in the room only a, a matter of seconds and the door got flung open. The uh, owner of the motel came in and he started screaming out, get out, get out, get out. I gave you four or five minutes you know, to get your stuff and go. Oh, but no, I went no. into that room and you were in there drinking. Oh, no, no you're no, telling absolutely is the truth. We finally caught up with Mr Blake, who well, claims he did ask no. Graham to pay up front. Well, is this the way you normally treat people staying at your motel? I don't normally have guests like this. I don't usually have this problem. With what, are we, what, yeah, are we, what are you saying is wrong with the, the bills? I asked Mr Bell to pay twice and then he said he wasn't going to stay. Right, you'll have your I asked him, can I, I asked him, can I, we have a, can I, can I fill the whole story? Uh, I did ask you to leave four times. You were trying to pr provoke me in the room. And, and the man seemed to me to be out of control. I said, look, let's pick our stuff up and just leave. And as we're getting our stuff together, he points to Dawn and said, courier, eh? Dawn turned around him and said, what do you mean by that? He said, go on, get out, get out. The Bells say they were so confused when well, Mr Blake like used the word courier, they later asked a taxi driver what it could mean. And he said, uh, reluctantly, he said, that's a prostitute. There was nothing in it. There was really nothing in it. Oh. Oh, well, the Bells were, were humiliated. They were upset. Well, if they were humiliated, that's, you know, that's what they think. Uh, well, you humiliated I did, them. I did not. Well, they believe you did. And they believe that you insulted them. Were you trying to imply that Mrs. Bell was a prostitute? N of course not. And you know that. Are you that. sure? Uh, you know that. It's, it's, it's a common expression, courier service. A lot of prostitutes use it. Jeff's a private investigator from London. He says the term courier service is common English slang for prostitution. Guys don't like going up to uh, a taxi driver or a hotel concierge and saying, any prostitutes around. You've never heard of that phrase being used before as a term for prostitution? I guess I have, yes. So you yeah. have heard of it before? Yes, yeah. but not, I, I mean... Were you I trying would, to insult the Bells? I was not trying to insult the Bells. Look, if I wanted to insult someone, I would say, if I thought, excuse it, but if I thought someone was a prostitute, I'd call them a prostitute. 
I am really quite within my rights to have done what I've done. And if it happened again, I'd probably do exactly the same thing. The Gold Coast must spend hundreds of thousands of dollars promoting this place. And to have one man sort of um, kick it like that is not really right, is it? Chris Allen reporting. And Queensland's Motel Association says it's powerless to act because Mr Blake is not one of its members.